Hi, I'm Chris Matson. I say yes to a new world, a new world of transparency where all that is done is revealed. I say yes to a world where every person on the planet, the moment they are conceived, they have rights, their birthrights as they are on the planet are equality. Every person, every man, woman, child, wherever they're born on this planet has equal rights. What that means is they are free to go wherever they want on the planet without borders. That they have equal rights to the resources they have equal rights as they do. The sun doesn't say to some, you may uh, have me and to others not. The sun just gives its all. We are one body of man, cells of the one body. I say yes to equality of all people. I say yes to obeying the higher law. The higher law is that which is written upon every heart the moment they are conceived. When a, when a child is born innately within them the laws of the land, the higher laws are already written. We don't need rule books in that sense. We simply need to obey the heart. I say yes to then a justice system that does not just throw people in jail and forget them and call them criminals. I say yes to when there are infractions of the higher law that the, the collective tribe comes around them, embraces them, finds out what needs were not being met and then bringing healing to that individual. I say yes to that type of justice system. I say yes to the right to every person on this planet to have a nest, a burrow, a home. Every bird and animal of the field here, they do not pay another bird or animal of the field for their right to sleep and to live. We as a species have become enslaved and an aspect of that is others attempting to enslave others. Yes, that also means the end of the banking system as we know it. I say yes to this. I say yes to the birthright of every person on the planet is to have without tax, without any sort of declaration of you owe this to some other bank or something simply this is your property that is yours it, by by that kind of like how the natives did it you know you're living here and so this is you to be honored as as yours your garden is yours you know we don't need extravagant fancy places because we have all of this. What we need for housing is simply a place for where we, you know, do our food, shelter, clothing thing, right? I say yes to an education system that truly educates. I say yes to an education system that's not based on whether you uh, completed these memorization tasks on time and were placed in a box for 12 years of your life. I say yes to an education system where mainly it's done in places like this, outside, connections with nature and source and how each plant, literally every plant on the earth has properties that work in a symbiotic relationship with us and knowing what those symbiotic relationships are. I say yes to uh, <coughs> not having grades as such, but simply the flow and the dance, the communal celebration 
is mainly outside. I say yes to having uh, indoor things for the children as well, of course. You know, it's snowing and that, and uh, everybody wants to huddle around the beautiful fire and tell stories or whatever and giggle. Great. I say yes to an end of the political structures as we know them. Literally every one of them, whether it's socialism, communism, monarchy, democracy, they've all failed us. They were based on a power structure dictating to the people. That is enslavement that does not work. What do I say yes to then? I say yes to no government. Yes, you heard me right. No government, but a governing from the heart. I say yes to uh, systems that it's not the majority rules. It's always the question, what would love do now? What is the higher good of all concern? Not just a select few. Uh, it's, it's how are we going to bless everything and everyone. I say yes then to the, the leaders of this non-government, so to speak, are the ones that are the servants of all. The ones that through their life, mainly elders, that have through their life displayed continual flows of, of blessing others and touching lives and that have through their speech, spoken great wisdom, and that are a healing balm to all around them. They are our government leaders, not elected, but chosen through their character, so that they are honored in that sense. They are honored because they are true servants. I say yes to a world where the environment comes of highest priority so that there is a beautiful harmony and a balance. I say yes to clean water, clean air, ground that is not polluted, food supplies that are not polluted by GMOs, uh, skies that do not have chemtrails blasting us. I say yes to beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flows in nature. And that, you see, nature is to work in harmony and balance with us. Nature loves us. Mother Earth, Gaia, whatever you want to call it, it's a beautiful symbiosis here. Uh, the land will give us all we require. We don't need plastics. We have things like hemp that are great resources. We no longer need oil. We don't need pipelines. We don't need any of this stuff. Uh, I say yes to an end of the suppression. The suppression of technologies such as free energy. Over 5,000 Beautiful free energy devices have been withheld from us in the patent offices and the military because it disrupts national security. In other words, the oil companies. We already have the means to have free energy off the grid, which immediately means we can get rid of all these wires hanging around. All your electrical stuff, that's uh, your smart meters, and all these things. We can get rid of that. Those are old technologies. We don't need those. We can have it so that every person has their own energy wherever they go. What does that mean? That means vehicles and transportation that are no longer required for uh, fossil fuels. That means everybody can have their own greenhouse. They can grow their own organic foods. I say yes to this and so much more. Now, I know that in order for us to have this world I'm talking about, it means revolution. Oh, yeah. I, you're looking at an incredible threat 
to the United States government, the Canadian government, the monarchy, the corporations, because as this message gets out more and more, you know what? They're, they're done. The, any corporation is based on greed. And uh, so I say yes to an end to that greed-based model of corporations. What I say yes to is groups of people corporately getting together in order to bless all. So if they're making printer cartridges and things, they make a printer that lasts a lifetime and uses eco-friendly ink that is totally, uh, you know, like one quarter of it lasts forever. Uh, yeah, you know, things like that. I say yes to, to groups of people getting together with one question, how can we bless the population? And if there are others working rather than in the same field, rather than having a competition, they get together, they share. I say yes to all this. And most important, I say yes to the awakening of the heart. Because until we have this awakening, there will be this continued strife and this enslavement. I say yes to honoring all the religions, but yet understanding that there is one source, one power, one God from which they all stem from, and all of us truly honoring what the avatars of those religions said, whether it's Buddha, Christ, uh, Mohammed, Krishna, you name it, they all truly said one thing. There is the source, and we are all one body, and love. Love is the message, and that's what I say yes to. I want you to join me. I want you to join me. Here we go. Uh, come to my website, Living Love's Vision. I am a radical may be martyred one day for this, that's okay. I'm an infinite awareness being. And I am starting a revolution. Here we go. <laughs>